day I'm hustling, every day I'm hustling. That's right, squad. You heard it. The turbo's on deck. See what I think about it here in a minute, huh? 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 Welcome to WTF Vapors, baby. What's going on, squad? We're, oh, there we go. How the fuck are you? Skeletor here with another equipment review for you. What am I rocking? Rocking the turbo, y'all. But where's the whistle, you ask? Well, we'll get to that in a minute. For right now, I'm horking on the cap with my Cherry Bomber tip, juicing up with some 5S Mystery. Thank you very much to the uh, mystery creator of my 5S line. Um, digging on the, uh, digging on the mystery, digging on the mystery, uh, but that's neither here nor there. We'll get back to the juice here in a little bit. For right now, our focus is on the turbo. So with the turbo, I'm, I'm mixed, okay? I've got really big mixed feelings about this. The reason why I've got mixed feelings about this is because of the, uh, um, the, uh, the level of construction with this, the, uh, there's a word on the, but I can't pull it right now. So if I think of it, then we'll bust it out. But you know the uh, the the construction of this thing is janky. Um, it's made by Tobacco, which surprises the fuck out of me that it's so janky because Tobacco is usually good at making decent clones, but uh, not this time. I mean, I'll tell you. I'll, I'll just pop the cap and we'll look under the hood. All right, the po it's a three post design. The post holes, as you can see, are, well, I guess not. They're a pretty decent size. I can do a really, really good parallel build like I have here, dual 26 gauge parallel build. Uh, and the juice well is deep as shit. I'm talking like, Ooh, like about that, that deep, you know, so you're looking at about four to five millimeters deep, um, which is excellent, especially for you guys that like to hork for a little bit on a dripper, you know, you lead the drip life, but you don't want to drip every two seconds. The juice well on this is going to help you out on that. Uh, the wicking, you know, it all, it all depends on your style. I use a little more cotton with the deeper juice wells to get, you know, a better, a better wick through the cotton. Um, I'm one of those I like to inundate the juice well because I like to taste what the flavor is like when it gets heated up and it gets wicked through the cotton instead of just dripped right on the coil. Um, a lot of flavors change that way. Cloud production is a definite nine. The flavor production on this is a solid eight, uh, but my overall WTF scale on this is a six and a half. Um, there's one major thing, which is the, which is my con and it's the main selling point of this RDA. Okay. The main selling point of this RDA is this. That's right. It's the, the little fan makes it sound like we're kids again. And music class, doing all kinds of weird shit. You got the little cylinder thing that, you know, makes the same noise, has the same concept. Now, I want to show you something, okay? As you see, I take this, I put it all the way down, all right? And trust me, I've already tried all the O-rings that are in there, but check this out.
That's right, this thing does not seal. It does not stay. It spins, which uh, affects your airflow because the, uh, the two prongs are, as you can see, what um, control your airflow. Know what I'm saying? As you can see. But it doesn't stay. It doesn't seal. It doesn't lock. It doesn't do anything but drop. All right, see, I'll even prove it. I'll push it all the way down. Can't get any lower. And off. Yeah, see, that's a big, big, big con for me. And there's a couple reasons for it. One, I've sat there before while working on this today. And when I went to pull my mod away from my lip, it stuck to my lip. Which it's not doing it now. But it stuck to my lip. Um, two, there's air that now comes in through here. So not only are you getting the full airflow from the airflow control down here, but you're getting the extra airflow up here because this isn't sealed. So you're, it's like you're trying to take double the hork on this thing for the same amount of production as if this was sealed up. Um, I haven't noticed a difference in production between using this and the cap with my cherry bomber on it. So what, what's the point of the extra airflow without the O-ring and this thing being so fucking janky? Um, on top of that, there's... Uh, I'm, I'm almost lost in thought here. Oh yeah, the fan. The fan... When there's a condensation buildup, it sticks. It doesn't work. It's basically a fly bone. Um, the fly bone is this with a removable fan. And, uh, you know, I'm hoping a better seal to where the glass cap doesn't come off. Now, people with fumble fingers like myself, and uh, I'm sure there's a ton of other fumble fingers that are out there, this is going to be a bad thing for you to use the Tobacco Turbo. The reason being is because I'm sure that it's difficult to replace the cap itself. I'm not sure if Tobacco has recognized the problem of the uh, the glass chuff with the fan in it being so loose and falling out at will. I mean, okay, so it didn't do it that time. However, oh, it almost did. There it goes. See? I don't know if Tobacco has recognized the janky-ass cap and maybe has replaced it and we... You know, I just didn't get that version of it. I'm not sure. But uh, I'm running at six, almost seven minutes now on this review uh, recording. And as you can tell, I really only have one com with it, and that's this. The functionality and the fit, the construction, it, it, it's janky. It's cheap. And if I lost this tomorrow, or actually if I lost it today, I wouldn't go out and buy another one. And that's just because of the jankiness and the cheapiness of this. Now going and getting an authentic, if it seals and it doesn't, you know, pop out like that, then maybe. I would lean more towards the fly bone because sometimes I would like to annoy the fuck out of people just like this. But other times even I'm annoyed by it. So as you saw, I started off with the cap. I'm going to finish off with the cap because I, I'm actually nervous to use the glass uh, chuff tip I'm afraid of dropping it and breaking it, honestly. And I don't want to do that because essentially this is a good RDA. It just has that one fail when it comes to the construction process of it. This is tits. And it's like you get the same production than with the other chuff tip. So to me... I would just use the cap with my own personal uh, drip tips, which I've been doing. So with that, I want to thank Evolution Vapes for sending me to uh, this uh, turbo for free for the uh, purpose of this review, which as you can tell, as always, I give you a no bullshit review. Um, I want to thank my juice maker for the 5S line, especially the mystery flavor, because I'm so digging on that. And uh, I also want to thank each and every one of you squad, because without you, we wouldn't continue to do this. We wouldn't be doing the reviews, giving you the cutting edge of the, uh, the equipment and the juice side of the vape life. 
With that, if you would like to order a Turbo or any of the RDAs that I've been doing uh, reviews for when it comes to um, the reviews I'm doing for Evolution Vapes, please feel free to click the link that I'm going to have below. It takes you straight to their eBay store, which is where they've got all their products as they work to bring their website live, which is coming in a couple of weeks. Hell yeah, because the reviews that are coming out of that box... I've already got one sitting behind the camera right now that's just a waiting, and she is full of hell and brimstone, let me tell you. So, at that, uh, if you need to reach me, go to the WTF Vapors Facebook page. It's WTF Vapors, that's our name, making you say what the fuck is our game. If you want to hit me up on Instagram, it's at Skeletor Vapes. If you'd like to email me questions, comments, concerns, this, that, and the third, SkeletorVapes at gmail.com. And with that, I'm going to leave you with a turbo on top of the jury duty with the 5S uh, mystery juice. Farewell. Peace out, y'all. Them clouds! <laughs>